I think the biggest thing that I take away from ministry is the fact that God is alive and working in the world and working in people's lives every single day. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen it happen and I take away friendships uh, of a depth that I would never have had any other way. People have allowed me into their lives in those moments of joy and moments of sorrow and, and all of those difficult times that they don't really like to share with people. And that has been such an honor to be able to do that. Well, one of the biggest things is that my husband uh, went to be with the Lord during my ministry. And so I was both his pastor and his wife, and that was a unique experience. And to have the support of the congregation during that time in a different manner uh, we, we always support the congregation, but sometimes we forget that they also support us. And they were so wonderful during that time. He had, a, he had four strokes in a week, and I came, I, my kids came, and I knew I was going to have to go get home and get the house fixed up for them to come. And I came home, and my house was cleaned, my linens were washed, and my refrigerator was full. And so uh, that's the kind of loving outreach that that people in my community do. We did a Souls for Souls project. We planned to get maybe 200 pairs of shoes. That was when the Joplin tornado happened and the Minot flood, and we were, we were wanting to help in some ways. And yet we are in a community where people are on fixed incomes and they can't really do that uh, financially a lot of times. But we put it out on the Arkansas Network and we had the Hardy Church join us and the Red Bud Church and the Heber Springs United Methodist Women. Thought we might get maybe a couple hundred pairs of shoes and we sent 750 pairs of shoes to Souls for Souls. That was something that was just an idea that somebody had. They had found it on the internet we, and we ran with it. I, I'm a musician. And I broke my hand. I play piano and organ, and I broke my hand and had to have surgery on that, and I was afraid I wouldn't be able to play again. But God is good, and I had a great surgeon, and, and uh, I have my hand back. So I want to do a lot of playing. I do some composing, and so I want to do some composing in, in my retirement. I want to spend some time with my family. Uh, they're spread all over. And, and I want to, I want to uh, spend some time and relearn my family. Uh, I have a brother in Iowa. I want to spend some time with him. And I, all, I just, it's a new season in my life. I want to explore that season. And I don't think God's quite done with me yet. It's just that I'm going to walk a different path from now on.